hello guys welcome to the design tech center youtube channel in the last tutorial we have learned how to create uh, different tables which is the first step of uh, your 3d modeling in this uh, tutorial we are going to learn about the second step which is uh, creating uh, the base of your 3d model and uh, implementing or creating uh, walls according to your plans we are going to learn how to select the walls type and how to build the wall in the different levels according to the plan and uh, we are also going to learn how to place the windows and uh, doors into your model so let's begin till here we have done in the last class the next step after creating the levels is you have to create your base upon which you are going to build uh, the 3d model let's go to here project browser so in this project browser you will have floor plans first floor second floor ground level ground floor plan you can see here there is elevations in the floor plans what we have to do is we have to click on site here you can see the site so click on the site this is your site from here you are going to start the construction uh, I have uh, created a plan already here in AutoCAD I have created it. so this is my plan which I am going to implement in uh, Revit according to this plan this plan, uh, this uh, horizontal distance is 7.54 meter and this is 9.6 meter this uh, building uh, base we have to draw plan is in 30 40 site 30 feet by 40 feet site so now what we are going to do is we will uh, build a base for this building portion and we are going to implement these all these walls and windows into it interior both interior and exterior walls I am going to show now let's open rivet this is our site let's build a floor here first floor is nothing but the base whenever you are going to construct a building you, you are going to set after the plinth level you are going to rise the building and you are going to construct uh, from there after the plinth let's create a floor here when we click on the floor here in the properties you can see the thickness and uh, the level of the floor and all so thickness you have to set the thickness of the plinth here is the edit option so click on this edit option so here you can select the material the thickness and all so let's uh, do not think about the material and let's type our thickness here our thickness I am going to assume is 600 that is the height of the plinth level click on ok and here apply and ok so after this our building plan is of uh, is of uh, rectangular shape so here we are going to draw a rectangular base here as you can see in the boundary line option here is line option rectangle option circular and all we will be getting here let's take rectangular option so click on the rectang rectangular option and uh, yeah our base was uh, 7.54 by 9.6 so this is in mm so 8000 means it's it's 8 meter so 7.8 meter i'm going to take here and here it will be 9.8 meter after uh, uh, creating this click on right mark so here is our base to view this uh, in 3D we have the view option out here so click on this view option here you can see 3D view so click on this 3D view 
here you can see this is our base from here we are going to construct our walls okay let's go to site here and as you can see you don't know uh, upon which level it is right now to verify on which level base is lying so go to elevation option click any elevation here you can see this is our base it is actually it is showing below the ground level so we don't need below the ground level we need above the ground level click on this again when you select this here it will show the level when you want uh, this above the ground level then above the ground level you have plinth level you have to select the plinth yeah it will uh, move up to the plinth level so here it is okay so i hope all of you have understood this so we will be updating uh, the next videos soon so okay thank you